Okay. Hey guys, it's Agatha here. Um, this video, you guys are going to learn uh, why it's important to um, eliminate, or actually I should say delete, all the pictures from your past events. So this event I just completed November 2nd, which is today. And um, I just completed my event. It ended at 6. It's 7 o'clock now. I see all of my pictures in here. All the photo strips. And then if I click over here on photos, there's all my individual pictures. So if I continue leaving all these pictures on my computer, you can imagine after, you know, five, six events, how many thousands of pictures I'm going to have on my photo booth. Um, think about it this way. The more information that you put on the booth, the slower it is. So let's just eliminate that together. So that way we don't run out of spots. I mean, run out of space. Um, and then also keep in mind surface tablets like this one, you only have 128 gigs. Um, in reality, it's like 119 gigs, I think. So always keep these three things clear right here. So I'm going to just cl click and hold. I'm going to select all and then I'm going to delete them. Okay. Now there's a third place that I'm going to delete. So I'm going to click here, photos, and then remove, delete all pictures. It's very important to click that because the dark room has a secondary drive um, that if you look over here, if I click on this button over here, this X drive over here, if I go to this PC, local X drive, that's everything that's inside Darkroom. This is all the files, all the pictures, all my events, everything in here. So imagine you're going to be um, using a lot of space. So it's super important for you to delete it. So once you click on that, it's deleting from the program as well as that X drive. And we're going to go ahead and click on that and it'll remove the pictures. Obviously, you guys want to upload your pictures to Dropbox, SmugMug, Facebook, whatever. Your, uh, maybe even a thumb drive. You guys want to do that save them there and then delete them now i'm going to do the same thing over here i'm going to click and hold select all and then i'm going to delete oops print remove event photos yes i want to delete that make sure you check that little box and then hit remove once i do that so that's number one I deleted those. Number two, I deleted these. And my last one is on my settings, I have save output and copy original. So what I did is throughout the event, I had the program send the pictures to uh, uh, an album that's right here. So if I click right here under Saturday, you'll see that all of my pictures are there. So this is a third place that um, my photos are being saved and what I'm doing right now like I had told you guys um, right now I have smug mug so all my events are right here nicely organized for my customers to just log into my website click on their event and then right now this is what I'm doing like I did Linda's 70th birthday she did a total of 380 pictures and I'm uploading them there and I'll show you what the customer's experience is going to look like so I'll click on here and this is what it looks like. They can download their pictures here directly. They have their big pictures, small pictures, and stuff like that. And then they can also buy a photo. So let's say buy or build a book. They can make a memory book. So if they want to buy this photo, the cool thing is Smug Mug will print it and ship it to the customer. You will just collect the the remaining um, the profits on that. Uh, so that's definitely something that you guys want to think about doing instead of doing flash drives. Um, I will I will include a link uh, they gave me 20% off so use my link uh, that's in the description that way you can sign up for smug mug and have your photo gallery look a little bit more professional so that's a quick tutorial on how to delete your pictures from darkroom and um, and dark and so from darkroom and the X drive and then also from your main um, folder. So if you have the additional folder in here like I do, right now my pictures are uploading, but it's the same process. Select all and then delete them, move them to your trash can, and you guys are all set. So your the main goal is to keep your computer clear of pictures, past events, anything that's going to slow you down because ultimately you're just going to run into an issue of taking pictures and you running out of space. So make sure you guys prevent that. 
If this video helped you, please uh, go ahead and hit that like button. Also subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. Thanks guys and I'll see you in the next video.